Hello everyone, I thought I'd do a short video just to give you a quick update on the Resurface Our Roads campaign. I went down to London on Monday to attend the AGM of the All-Party Parliamentary Group for Better Roads. The event was used to launch a new report into the effectiveness of the government's Pothole Action Fund. And what the report finds is that it was actually quite an effective policy. The number of roads classed as good in the country increased by about 7% over the period from 2015 to 2019. There was a bit of a blip for 2020 with the pandemic, but by 2021, when the funding was no longer ring-fenced, the number of roads that were classed as good started to decline, and have continued to decline by 5%. So all the gains that were made have been lost again. However, something changed in 2021. The Pothole Action Fund became the Pothole Fund. And what wasn't widely announced at the time was the fact that the ring fencing element of the funding was being removed. This meant that local authorities could spend the money that they were getting for roads maintenance on other things, such as putting in a cycle lane or introducing a 20 mile an hour speed limit. So unsurprisingly, councils started using the money for other things. And as a result, the improvement into the quality of the roads actually took a nosedive. By removing ring fencing from this fund, they literally did take the action from the Pothole Action Fund. It's a bit, it would be a bit like removing the action from Motorcycle Action Group. If the Motorcycle Action Group took members' money, and said, do you know what, we won't spend it on lobbying for motorcyclists, right, we'll just spend it on a Christmas party. I don't think most people would be very happy. But this is effectively what the government did with the Pothole Action Fund. The report is therefore calling for the establishment of a Better Roads Fund. The Roads Minister was supposed to have been speaking at the event, so I was quite looking forward to the opportunity to uh, put the point across uh, to him that we need more funding to resurface our roads. However, it was, it was announced a few days before the event that he wasn't going to be able to attend because he'd been called before a select committee to give evidence. However, as we learned on the day, that select committee meeting met at four o'clock. The APPG meeting started at half past three. So I'm pretty sure that if he was really interested in improving the quality of the road surfaces in the country, he could have made it to this event. It was also disappointing to see the lack of parliamentarians turning up for the event, which reflects a wide disinterest in this particular issue. When it comes to elections, the parliamentarians are quite happy to talk about the need to improve the road surfaces, but when it comes to taking action or listening to good ideas, they're nowhere to be seen. So what does this mean for the Resurface Our Roads campaign? Well, what we need to do is to continue the work that we're doing. Get hold of your MP, lobby him, ask him to take a look at this report. We'll leave a link in the description below. Get, get your MP to look at the report, take on board the proposals that it's making and support them. If they don't support the proposals, ask for them to come up with a better alternative. We should not need to suffer declining quality of roads in this country.